Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. Imagine for a moment jumping in your vehicle, traveling hundreds of miles to hunt with 11 other people that you've never even met. Well, that was reality for 12 lucky ladies that took part in the annual Women's Weekend at Maxed Out Guides in Montevideo, Minnesota last September. They came together to goose hunt, but what they found in the form of friendships just might last a lifetime. Just like to thank you again, everybody, for coming out here today uh, and coming out this weekend with us. This is our fourth annual Women's Weekend. Um, so our family hunting business was actually started by my mom. So we had a, a very large um, goose hunting business that we used to run back in the 80s and 90s when La Caparle was really kind of a destination. Um, we'd have anywhere from 50 to 75 people at a shot hunting on our land, goose hunting, and all of that was started and coordinated by my mom. So. Um, she <coughs> passed away <laughs> uh, six years ago. So this is just a, you know, it's a fun event for me to have. Uh, it's good to get you ladies out. We want to, you know, encourage that so we have more of it in the sport. So I really do appreciate everybody coming out and hunting with us today uh, and this weekend. So <coughs> today for our hunt, our birds are going to be coming from right down there. Um, Sailor's been watching this field for a couple days now. They're coming from the power plant. We don't have any wind like we haven't, like we didn't have yesterday morning. So we're just gonna have everybody down. When the shot's there, we're gonna call it. Okay, we'd like to have them working into the decoys. We don't necessarily know, you know, usually when we have no wind days, that doesn't always work out like that. So when the shot's there, be ready. We're gonna say kill them. When we say kill them, everybody know 10 to two. Okay, nobody with safety is off in the blind. Safety is only off when the gun's on your shoulder. People on the right, kill on the right. People on the left, kill on the left. Um, and uh, let's just have a good safe hunt this morning. Andrea did this today. She did a wonderful job in the dark. I think I look pretty good. Nice shooting, nice shooting. That was awesome. Goose down. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Get him. I 
Uh, we got the afternoon hunt today, so we're out in a silage field. Uh, birds have been feeding in this field a couple different days. Garrett's been watching it. Um, guns on safe at all times. Um, again, the only time on this hunt where your gun should be off safe is when it's when it's go time. Those birds are working in. Garrett and I say kill them or take them. Stand up, shoulder your gun, beat a bird anywhere from 10 to 2, okay? As these birds work, we've got a pretty good wind today. They should work in this way. But just be ready. When the, when the shot's there, we're gonna take it. You know, we want them finishing into the decoys like this, but if they're cutting over the top and the shot's there, we're gonna call it, okay? And we'll say it, you know, shoot them up top, shoot them out in front, shoot them on the right, shoot them on the left, that type of thing. <laughs> yes. High five. <laughs> Good and they were coming down the pipe a little bit out of range and then all of a sudden they turned right at us. Right over us. They said take them, stood up, bang, 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 no problem. We got all, there was got four all four of them. <sighs> I'm, sh yeah. I'm shaking. That was like well <laughs> worth the wait. <sighs> that was a good shot. Starting to see them fly, starting to get them called in and starting to shoot them but I wanted to goose hunt and here I am with a bunch of great women. It's fun to meet different women that have the same interests because I think that's hard to find. Um, yeah, it's a good group of women and apparently have some good aim. So that helps, that helps too. <laughs> <laughs> she got her first goose. <laughs> yes. I mean, to be on a straight up goose hunt and watch the birds work above us in circles and, you know, that last pass that they did and they came through and we pulled up and shot at, it's kind of a uh, difficult shooting. It was pretty far, wasn't it? it was a high box. Yeah, yeah. And we, we nailed a couple and I don't know, it's been so fun to just meet new friends that I have that I can go hunting with forever now and you know it's just hard to find other women that like to do the same things as me so I'm just I feel really fulfilled and happy I guess. <laughs> well they're coming up top which is unexpected it makes it a little harder coming out of the corn when we're all short but 
We got her done. Great hunt. So freaking cool. I don't know. <sighs> I wasn't going to say anything. A lot of fun. Ready for more. It's beer time. What a fantastic group of ladies. I tell you what, not only are these gals great hunters, they know how to have a great time as well. If you're interested in joining this year's Women's Weekend at Maxed Out Guides, there's a Facebook group that's been set up just for these events. Or you can log on to the Maxed Out Guides website for all the details. Now don't go away because right after the break, the guys and I get a chance to head to the Sioux River Hunt Club. We'll be chasing those famous South Dakota pheasants. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission Crossbows and HHA Sports. Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, we're doing something a little bit different today. We're in South Dakota. We're just actually south of Watertown, South Dakota, in the town of Bruce. We're with Sioux River Hunt Club. Scott, what is in tap for today? Uh, today, we're going to be hunting pheasants inside. We're going to be in some heavy cover of some CRP ground, and we're also going to be doing some food plots of some corn. Uh, sorghum. This is a pretty unusual December. We have no snow on the ground. It's mild temperatures. In fact, I think they're talking 50 degrees today. So are these birds going to fly? They're going to fly. They're going right. to fly fast and uh, we don't have much wind so it shouldn't be too hard to hit them. I think we're going to have a lot of action. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get out after. All right, let's do All it. All right, sounds good. Boy, what a beautiful bird. I love South Dakota. All right, there's more in this field. We'll keep going. Look at the incredible tail feathers on that bird. Beautiful, beautiful South Dakota pheasant.
you know, one of the things about pheasant hunting here in South Dakota, it's a very social sport. Uh, so if you've got a group of people or group of friends or relatives or family members, it's a great opportunity to bring a whole group together, get a chance to kind of laugh and joke and hunt together and great accommodations and opportunity to enjoy a great meal together and maybe a few drinks uh, around the bar at night. Just an awesome opportunity. Uh, South Dakota bird, it's December. Um, these birds are big and tough, so we're using, I recommend a four shot, um, two and three quarter four shot. The season runs from uh, the third Saturday in October, and now they kind of, they just opened it up, they added on another month, so it goes to January 31st. Um, these are the big December birds, so that's why we like to use a little bit more power, because they're big, they're heavier. Uh, we're getting stronger, fatter. Right there! What we just saw there was, uh, you can see the dogs when they get real birdie as they start making sharp, quick turns and real fast. Uh, that means that there's, they smell a bird and they're, it's really close to them. Uh, so that gives you a little bit of a warning. And then what they do is they go right in and flush it up. And uh, everybody got a chance to shoot, I think, on that one. You could have a one-year-old bird. It's I think it's more genetics that has a real long tail, but you can also have a you know like three-year-old or two-year-old. A three-year-old bird is like really, really, really old. Two years, and then you usually go by their spurs. You know what? How big a spur is? The bigger the spur is, the longer they. Just like a turkey or whatever. You know, if you get a really long spur, that's a two or three. They. I mean, I don't know for sure. There's a way they, they can judge them on their wing or something. Somebody just told me, and I don't know if that's true. But for a bird to live more than three years, I don't think they really do that much. We flushed one out of there and uh, we got that one and then another one flushed out even farther. We took a poke at that one. Didn't quite get so lucky on that one. And then here comes one right here. Oh, this is some constant action. You gotta get out here and try this at least once. It's, it's unreal. Got the lucky feather on this drive and so far it's proven pretty lucky. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Matthews Archery and Vortex Optics. Look at the tail feathers on that beautiful South Dakota pheasant. I tell you what, what a great time we've had here at the Sioux River Hunt Club. I tell you what, if you get a chance to come to South Dakota, 
and visit the folks here just north of Brookings, South Dakota. All their information is right here on the screen. Give them a call. I guarantee you'll have a great time. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala and Mountain Dew. Trying to make a TV show over here. I hit it and it went, and then somebody else hit it and it went down. A little professionalism. Hold on a second. I heard a honk. Oh, that's, that's what pheasants do. <laughs> do you just want me to giggle on camera? Yeah.